Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares, was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies, not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only won because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. I wish to apologize for this scandal, and I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done to all of you. Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here, now. Please, don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. Hey, something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume's the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Yes. Uh, I was about to say, I don't think you say would be happy about the ending the career statement. I'm so sorry for what I said back then. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it, not your grandfather's. <gasps> You are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Who are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories, no matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope. I can one day save someone's soul the way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Sheesh, you kids are something else. Barging in on a press conference like that? My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. Right, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. Senpichi's really doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. I know, right? I am an actual cop. Anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back at the car. We're gonna ditch him. Rolling, I was about to say. Right. We'll leave the rest. <laughs> I was about to say, we're gonna ditch him, aren't we? We're assholes. Do you have a moment? We are actual assholes. Something about Natsume has been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Madarame? Can he truly mm. be called evil like the palace rulers we confronted in the past? No. No. Madarame was an actual monster. This guy was just pathetic. Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Probably not. Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone who pursues the arts like myself? Yeah, hey, little column A, little column B. So you think so as well? 
Then, what is the purpose of these jails? Oh, well, I suppose there's no point in thinking on it right this second. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Let's go. Can I get some shopping in first? Oh, so. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Before we leave, I'm going to get my last round of shopping in. Oh no, yeah, okay, we're not leaving him. <laughs> okay. I, f I thought we were just gonna ditch his ass. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? You're talking about how Alice's smartphone was being monitored by someone, right? So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Maybe. This seems like it'd be pretty difficult for a third party to pull off. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. We can. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? Not yet, no. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Madis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? We don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. <sighs> Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs? We might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. 
I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? Did you bring Yukata? Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in a Yukata sounds wonderful. Do we just pack Yukata? Do we just pack Yukata? Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Allow me to direct you. I was about to say, I was very confused for a second. Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata san, and it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He's not a dude. He's Lord Date Masamune. When I drag in a That's a dude, though. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Oh, there are so many boots. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Yaki soba pan. I'm cool with that. I don't know why, but yaki soba from the food stand always tastes so friggin' good. Uh, let's hold off on the food for now. I want to check out all the boots with Lady On first. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Look, this furball's got claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait! <gasps> lady On, you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Now, I know, he's, I know he's simping, but, like, there are three other women. There are three other women. You really gonna just shit on them like that? <laughs> You're gonna just shit on them so openly like that? Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. Thanks. It means a lot hearing that from you. Absolutely picturesque. You brought us a much-needed air of refinement. Yeah. According to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. That's orange. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo. No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? I call it a what the fuck do you mean? What the fuck is a what the fuck is a water balloon yo-yo? What the fuck what is this? What is this? What the fuck are you people on about? So which is it? <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the- The food fuck food? is a water balloon yo-yo? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice. They've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Tohoku. What are we waiting for? Charge! Come on, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah. Let's start from one end and get one of everything. Feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch goldfish. Ah, yay! Yakisoba, Gunda Cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masmune. 
He is one cool dude. That's lore to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Yes. <laughs> catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Yo, you guys having fun? Just working? Not really, anyway. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Aoba campus. The CEO of Matisse is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. Is that energetic woman going to be there? Oh, another Akira, eh? I'll take it. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, all right? So what did he want? I want to get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of days. That's fucking days. Tony Stark. That is just Tony Stark. The one thousand percent that is just Robbie Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. What the fuck game? What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Madis is connected to all of this one way or another. Be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? Probably. I think so too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's got to be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, 
We just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. We've been ignoring him for like five minutes. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Oh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. And again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Oh my god. Huh? Uh. Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Mona? Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. What the hell are we gonna do? Leg it. Whoa, stop, stop. Leg it. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. Wow, to think you guys are the famous phantom thieves. I'ma just say this. We live in a post Persona 5 royal world. You're now giving me a new character in a lab coat who has figured out that we're the Phantom Thieves and is sort of unorthodox and energetic in their own way. I'm not saying this character is going to be the final boss, <laughs> but I am saying if they're connected to the final boss, I won't be surprised. mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear. How is that? Oh. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. I just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Uh, just like, just like Maruki. Just like Maruki. You weird and I like you. <laughs> just like with Maruki. You weird and I like you. this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? 
did she make Sophia? Or would she be able to help with Sophia? I guess it's too late to cover this up. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... If I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believes... She's a crazy scientist. Of course she would. I have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. You're weird and I like ya. <laughs> Even if you turn out to be lying through your fucking teeth. You're weird and I like ya. Right. How about we make a deal? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Super phantom thiefy. I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So... What do you need me to look into? Say the word and I'm on it. Right. Well, for starters, we'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey, we found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Do you mean those, like, 30 or so uh, cracked chips that I found that, they, that the game wouldn't let me sell even though it was categorized as sellable items? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you as research materials. Hmm. Well, it's this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Huh. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Okay, looking forward to it. All right. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia? Hi, I'm Sophia, Humanity's Companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, well, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Liar! Liar! You're bullshitting! You're bullshitting, man! Don't you dare lie to me! Don't you dare fucking lie to me! Fucking created. Fucking created. No, nope, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well, then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around. Bitch is fucking lying. <laughs> Through her teeth. But she weird and I like her. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Yes, that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but 
We're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Yeah, I'm gonna buy everything first. Once you choose to go to the next city, you'll be unable to return to the city you are currently in. Make sure to buy limited items and take care of your business. Alright. Unlike the cities in the real world, uh, you can revisit past shells at any time. Uh, however, be aware that uh, requests obtained from con uh, from conversing with your friends in past cities will no longer be available. Oh. Alright, well. All right, well then. Shouldn't we be going? Hey. Oh, ah, yeah, that's not as good. Yo! Come with me. All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> that's fine. Why not you? Okay. That's it. Something is amiss. Kind of. Right, right. Aww. Is that good or bad? All right. Last round of shopping, boys. Then we'll clear out of here. Why you gotta be in such an awkward place, Arn? What a coincidence. Beautiful. Yes. No, you won't. <laughs> you will not see me again, sir. Hmm? Hmm? Thank you, sir. 
so that's what you get. Can you hold off? So that's what you get. Can you hope we recommend? Thank you. We recommend that. Can you hope so that's what you get? Can you hope we recommend that? Can you stop right, cool. again? Alright, cool. We outie. This place is gone. Ah oh, yeah, Hokkaido. We all good with this? Yep. Hey, right, let's go. What are you gonna do? Let's go. So, how long to Sapporo? From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. No way! I thought we were closer than that. Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be alright, Mako-chan? Don't worry, I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like she just doesn't want Haru to drive. She just doesn't want Haru to drive. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. All this time on the road is starting to get to me. This is the longest I've ever driven, so any amount of rest would help. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. I'm sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. It keeps me alert and motivated. And we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage your shoulders at once and procure the finest soft serve money can buy. On it. Wait, why does it have to be me? Because you're the pack mule. I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto, I need to apologize. What? Oh, why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue, but I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a fool. This thing. This, this adorable weird? little thing. Are you going through mood swings or she something? She is. She's cute though. <laughs> She's cute though. Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you You can't. The mood swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. Wasabi soda? You animal! What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! Hang in there, Makoto. Sapporo's just a stone's throw away. I hear you. Hokkaido sure is vast, isn't it? Vast enough to call it huge Kaido by my reckoning. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here. So hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. Nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we'd nearly strip naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. Ah, yay. Oh, is that, is that Tokyo Tower? No, Tokyo Tower's in Tokyo, it's not in... Hello, never mind. Sapporo! I was about to say, I was really confused for a second. A bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. But no, I remember hey, in, uh... still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Rude. I remember in, uh... Devil, uh, De uh, Devil Survivor 2, um... Yamato mentioned Sapporo's Tower. So yeah, okay, it's not Tokyo Tower, never mind. My fucking idiot. Well, it's 
confused myself. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkichi's looking into is the monarch of support. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me know. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia. You work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys, then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. What? what? No, no. I, I can clean myself just fine. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite. I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone? You in? would know. Uh, wouldn't the hot water like wreck it? Along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia. What, what details? What details? Mm -hmm. Oh damn, five requests already? This is the request. Here's what I found. Yeah, right. You're accepting this request? Okay. You're doing this one? Time to get to it. You're accepting this request? Okay. You're doing this one? Okay. You're accepting this request? Okay. You're already working on My love silver capable. Okay. Well. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day here though first, cause oh, we've got quite a lot done in these nine hours. <laughs> okay. Let's see.